Hi, and welcome to Reading with Miss Momo. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today we have a fun Valentine book. I was at the bookstore and a little five-year-old girl was in there looking at the books. And I said, which book would you choose for someone to read to you? And she chose this book. So that's how I came upon this book and I hope that you enjoy it. I think most of you already know this character. So join me now as we read a Valentine book, okay? Love from Bluey. It is um, published by Penguin Young Readers License, Penguin Random House, and the text is by Susie Brum. Love from Bluey. It's almost time for bed in the healer house. Bedtime, bingo. I'll read your book once you've done all your jobs. Okay, mama. No! Bedtime, Blue. Bluey does not want to go to bed. Bingo is very agreeable, but Bluey is not. Teeth, hair, floppy, all done. So she's ready for bed. And this is Bluey. Does Bluey look ready for bed back here? Hiding from that? I don't think he looks like he's ready for bed. He's not minding very well. Love can be found in the strangest of places. Dad's trying to read them to them. Love can be found in the strangest of places. And all of a sudden, they can see Bluey in the light. They got a flashlight out and they're seeing Bluey. Love. Love always lifts you up. And there they're showing how sweet love lifts you up. But look at Bluey. Bluey's screaming and hollering and pitching a fit, and Dad is carrying him out. Carrying him to bed. Love solves every problem, and they have the cookie, and it worked. Oh, come on, Bluey, it's late. Can't you just use the minty toothpaste? Oh, but I only like the unicorn one. Okay, I'll go get it. Bluey is not being very agreeable. And Dad is having to do extra work. Love is laughing at the same old joke. And they're laughing and holding hands and having a good time. And then here's Dad, buzz, having to brush Bluey's teeth. Because Bluey is not cooperating. Oops. Love waits patiently. And Love is putting on boots and other ones waiting patiently for her. Can you sing to me, Dad? 99 bottles of... She's sitting on the toilet. Dad's sitting there singing to him. Love his little acts of kindness. Look, pick the flower. How sweet. Dad, I'm thirsty. What does Dad do? Go down and get him a drink. He is really being a problem for dad, isn't he? Love goes the extra mile. They're holding hands and skipping and having fun. Dad, I can't sleep with that Polly Puppy. So now what does dad have to do? He's going to find Polly Puppy. Look at him throwing out all the toys, trying to find Polly Puppy. Who knows where Polly Puppy might be? Bluey certainly doesn't know. And then here they are. All finally starting to go to sleep. Everybody. Love conquers all our fears. Reading a book, talking, cooperating. Dad, yes, mate. I'm scared. I'm a bit scared. Now Bluey's found his little pet, but now he's scared. All you need is love. So what happened? Dad got in the bed, laid down with him. Bluey and this little night pet lay down and went to sleep. Dad was so good. Dad was love for Bluey, wasn't he? Bluey was not acting very cooperative or being very nice, but Dad was always there every single time. That's what moms and dads do sometimes, isn't it? But shouldn't we be nice and kind and cooperative? That's what it said love is. 
Love is doing all the nice things and being patient and kind and loving and sharing. I hope this Valentine that you'll be loving and caring and patient and share. Until we meet again, smile and be happy and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Tell someone you love them. God bless.